monks here. Are you ready for your social slice of happiness? Well, today I am so excited to introduce you to one guest that is absolutely amazing. His name is Bruce Norton and he's a master in Tai Chi and Qigong. And today he's going to be talking to you about the principles of Tai Chi and Qigong and what it can do for you in your life, how it can help you find a certain level of peace and get rid of anxiety by applying some of the Tai Chi principles as, as well as doing some of the Tai Chi exercises. So today he's not going to show you the exercises per se, he will be doing that later, but he will be explaining to you, you know, what is really Tai Chi, what is Qigong and what it can do in your life. So again, welcome to Bruce Norton. I hope you enjoy him. Hey, good day, my name is Bruce Knowlton. I am a Master Tai Chi and Qigong instructor out of Reno, Nevada. I've been studying for over 12 years with different masters uh, around the world. Um, today I'm going to introduce you to the concept of Qigong and Tai Chi, the, what is actually taking place with, with these two ancient practices. Qigong is uh, pronounced Qi as in C-H-I and Gong. Run me with long as in G-U-N-G, and these qi is uh, is what's called breath, uh, vi or vital vitality breath, and gong is is the work. So we perform breath work. The importance of these great practices is that they have been around since for five thousand years now. Qigong is actually the mother of tai chi and yoga, is the oldest known wellness practice in the world. Um, what it does is we, we have an ability to learn the different meridian systems that run through our body, or which trans transforms the chi or the bioelectrical energy through us. There's different uh, practices we use, uh, exercise programs that we, we've developed uh, you know, through, the, through the centuries and that, have, uh, that will affect our wellness, uh, that we can actually awaken the healer inside to uh, help heal ourselves, help heal, our, help ourselves, help heal others, and we all have the ability to do that. Um, these, this is not a pancrea practice. It, uh, it, it is very specific in what we're doing and the results we're searching for and can uh, easily be reached. Um, it is called living the chi state. It is where throughout the day we have an opportunity to find ourselves in a relaxed state. Instead of living in a world of stress, we have the option of living in a world of relaxation. When the stress comes, we will indeed uh, address that, but through the practice and the internal art of Qigong, we will be able to have tools to uh, deflect that and, and get back into our relaxation state. Uh, of course, relaxation, once we have reached the, called the relaxation response state, uh, this uh, alerts the brain to release trans and neurotransmitters throughout our body uh, that will open up the capillaries of the of their veins to help pump more oxygen and blood through and uh, keep us calm and and healthy so the rhythmic movements of qigong they helps to reduce stress in our life it builds stamina it increases our vitality enhances our immune system so through the calming of the the body itself the in, by awakening the internal uh, breath uh, we are able to reach these states of relaxation in a, in a short term, short amount of time, actually. Anybody can learn it, and it's uh, very quick. We will be introducing uh, the practices itself as, the, as our channel moves forward. But one of the main things we want to look for is when we're, when we're trying to define the, the difference between Qigong and Tai Chi, is Qigong is the inner art. Again, we want to learn the inner art of our practice so that we can become calm as we go into the outer art of the Tai Chi. The Tai Chi can be very frustrating. There, there can be complicated moves as we do four to five to six things all at the same time, depending on the, on the moves. Uh, so we have to be patient. We have to be calm. Uh, so we can, we can go with the flow, if you will, and uh, feel the, what balance is all about. So with these, um, with these additional skills, the Tai Chi will bring us uh, improved balance. If, if, if many, many people uh, through uh, my classes have been going on, older folks getting their balance back, uh, many testimonials about people who I 
personally know they've come to class and when they first started out they could hardly walk in and stand up and within you know three to four months they were actually doing tai chi so the 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 practice itself is an amazing um, uh, testimonial to uh, to the, the results and the the the, the happiness that uh, will bring somebody in their life uh, of course as we as people get older they they start losing balance they they have issues copd um, through the the Tai Chi and practices. I have people that have actually gotten off their COPD medicines um, through the breath work. Um, many people have told me their heart, their blood pressure medicine, medicine is no longer taken anymore. That's a, of course a personal thing. Uh, we can't cure anything, but we certainly can help people heal themselves and, and help them heal themselves. So through the, um, the awareness of, of the ability to calm down and and re resist the stress as it comes through. 90% uh, of diseases are caused from stress. This is something we as modern human beings have an opportunity now to control. We have many different avenues that cause us, that we go down that causes the stress. Um, of course, modern living through computers, through, through our iPads and phones, um, are total distractions to what uh, really is going on around us. Uh, currently, there's a, about a 10-second attention span in America for people. Uh, that is ridiculous. Sorry, but uh, we can we can do better than that with ourselves by only having this. This additionally uh, tightens the at a cellular level, tightens and stagnates the 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 blood flow through the body. And once that stagnation starts, that's when disease starts. Uh, you'll be learning different uh, techniques to open up these channels so we can keep the flow going. Uh, bacteria and viruses cannot live in an oxidized environment, so we'll be opening these, uh, this oxidize, oxidizing our, our bloodstream. You'll be able to actually feel it, uh, you'll be able to move it, and, uh, and then when we get back into the Tai Chi, you will learn the dance of the Tai Chi. We'll work on the refinement of the Tai Chi, and then we'll be learning to become the Tai Chi, the dance itself. So there's a lot of things we're going to learn, a lot of fun stuff uh, coming down the pike. And uh, so this is a, just a quick overview of what, uh, what is Tai Chi and Qigong. There's, we could be here for a year, I could tell you about all the different aspects, but today is just a minute introduction and uh, kind of get you excited about it. So if you think there's no hope, forget about it. There's plenty of hope and, there's, there's, and it's for you. So I'm here to help you find yours. So again. Uh, this is Bruce Knowlton, and I uh, look to see you soon. Well, I hope you learned something today with Bruce. What an amazing individual. He's so knowledgeable about Tai Chi and Qigong, so I hope that you got something out of it. Or I also hope that maybe it just triggered some curiosity and makes you want to learn more. It is your lucky day. You will learn more. I will be featuring him on a regular basis on the channel. In the next few videos, he's going to be talking about how to reach happiness and he's also going to be talking about how to deal with feelings of sadness again i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for listening if you like this video please like it here and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so and share with your friends i'd love you to share what you're learning with your friends and help us make this world a better place a happier place one day at a time one person at a time See you later, gang. Talk to you soon.